It was a it was a fairly quiet movie though, eh? You think? Like, <laughs> it really was. Okay. Um, I think we saw this preview at the theater once. I think we saw Ren Renfield, and then this was a trailer. Yeah. yeah. And we said, "Oh." And that's all we said. <laughs> yeah, that's, that looks interesting. And this is a movie called Sisu. And and you think it, this is a, a Finnish film? Yeah. Uh, and you know, I don't see a lot of foreign films, except for the Korean stuff that I watch. I don't watch foreign films. Well, you messaged me and said, "Oh, by the way, watch this." And it was funny because when we were visiting Dad a couple of weeks ago. Dad was saying, oh, I saw this movie. It was great. I loved it. Yeah, that's where I watched it. You mean... Oh, really? Okay. When you visited this weekend. Was it this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> well, by the time... Time flies. By the time this goes out, it's a couple weeks ago. And, and you know what? Does it really matter that it's a foreign film? Because how many words are actually spoken in this? 27. <laughs> Pretty much. There's a lot of looks and... Uh, but successful. And violence. There's a little yeah. bit of violence in this There's movie. There's a little bit of violence. <clears throat> All right, so... Uh, We're talking, of course, of Sisu. Yes. <laughs> of course. And it just rolls off the tongue. Everyone's going to remember it. Of course, it is a foreign film. Um, but uh, what did you guys think? Because this is not the typical movie for Hollywood. This... Well, it's not Hollywood. It's Finland. That's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> what you have is uh, it's the end of World War II, and there's been a change in Finnish policy there to drive the remaining Nazis out of Finland. Mm -hmm. So the, the Nazis are scurrying north, I guess, to meet somewhere and get out. Um, but they happen upon a gold uh, miner. Yeah, he's just minding his own business. He, he found some gold, puts it in his bags, traveling back to town on his horse. And the Nazis catch him. And they're, tr they're bringing a bunch of prisoners, female prisoners with them. And they, they, they intercept him and they start beating him up. Yeah, because, you know, they can. And he's got gold. Yeah. That's the story. Except then he Rambos them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come. Well, Come. yeah. Over the top Rambo. You don't expect, you know, eighty year old guy, which I mean, back then he's probably forty years old, but he looks eighty. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, no, I th he was old in. He the was movie an old too. man, yeah. yeah. But he surprised me. <laughs> we got gold. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Supplies! <laughs> Just one of those, right? Yeah. But, yeah, he's X kind of... He was. What was the name that they gave him? Well, the Russians called him the Immortal. The, yeah, because he just doesn't die. He doesn't die. He doesn't follow commands. He doesn't... He just does his own thing. Even the Finnish commanding officers don't even bother with him. They just send him in alone. And he gets the job done. He's killed 300 soldiers all by himself. Yeah. Uh, Russian soldiers, and uh, not through like he's like he's pulling some John Wick kind of type type of kills. Well, he's the backwoods John Wick. Yeah, right. <laughs> In a way, he's but the Babalyaga. But it's not so choreographed as John Wick. No, right? no. Well, it, it's and it's a much smaller film. In a way, like it's mm -hmm. it's they don't have a huge budget in this film. Yeah, no. You could tell it was a bit lower budget, like no. for the you, you cinematography. Think, you think in this kind of movie that. He's going all out for revenge, and he's going to hunt down the Nazis and and take them out. No, but, but he's just trying to get to the bank. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> gotta he's, get, gotta turn in my gold. He he just <laughs> keeps trying to get away, but the Nazis are chasing him now. Yeah. Even when they were commanded not to, once once the the sergeant or Nazi sergeant found out that this guy was unkillable, he says we'll see about that. That's a challenge. And he starts going after him. Yeah. And he's just trying to get away. Yeah. So, so did Rambo. Rambo just wanted to get away. In the first movie. Yeah. 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 
So, uh, this is kind of a, a throwback to like the old 70s action film. But uh, you know what? B movies. Right? I, I really enjoyed it because it was a break from what we're used to watching. Crap? Yeah. Yeah. It was very simple. Yeah. Very simple. But it wasn't, it didn't have, like, I mean, okay, so Hollywood is full of woke. Right. And there is a part in this movie where he liberates the, all the female slaves and they take up arms and start destroying all of the soldiers. But, I mean, they're human and you gave them a gun. So, yeah, they can shoot. Mm -hmm. Right. So, it didn't come off as a woke point in the movie. No. It came off as a liberating the slaves. And, and, and the movie's tone overall was over the top ridiculous. Yeah. Not 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 comically ridiculous but in the way that he's doing not it. fast and the furious yeah. no over but, the top. but but like 80 year old guy taking on 20 year old healthy soldiers ridiculous yeah and like and, several of them and a guy who survives being hanged and yeah a big big airplane mishaps right they uh, like the he would have died but then you say oh well he's immortal yeah you know maybe he is immortal yeah maybe, maybe. we don't know mm -hmm. So. Could be a new Finnish superhero. Do you really believe that he's immortal? No, he just refuses to die. But I, I, I enjoyed it. I liked it. I liked the movie. Like, literally, literally, 30 words are spoken. Half of them by the Nazis. Yeah. And half of them by the women that were freed. Well, I noticed because the Nazis were the first, were the first words spoken. Like, a lot of the movie goes by... And then the Nazis sort of see him, and they they say something. They say something about him being on the trail. Oh, he's walking with something. I did, I didn't even even quite catch it. And I re I realized those are the first words that were spoken. Mm -hmm. I had been watching this for a half an hour. Didn't realize it. Yeah. Now yeah, look at Kurt Russell's movie, The Soldier. You know, he he says like forty seven words in the whole movie. Now the words that are spoken at the end of this. Uh, they're in Finnish, I assume. Yeah. I had to Google them. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was easy to find out what he said, but... Uh, okay, so what did he say? Because uh, it was in Finnish. Well, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know. But you're going to look it up at the end anyway. Uh, he, he finally arrives at the bank with his gold. He dumps it on the counter and he says, Yeah, uh, I want to trade this in for some paper notes because those will be a heck of a lot easier to carry. <laughs> that guy's pretty good. And that should give you the tone of the movie. Yeah. yeah. A simple guy just trying to get to the bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And hijinks ensue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lots of violence, uh, but it's kind of just an, a relaxing watch. It's a fun movie just to watch. You don't have to be too into it, like a lot of concentration or anything. You just watch. It's one I, of those movies you watch. I started it. It was literally, it was 10 o'clock last night. I thought, okay, well, Paul said to watch this. I better watch this before tomorrow morning or I'm going to catch it. So... I watched it and it was it was over and I was like I'm still watching it. Like I didn't expect to still be interested in it. I expected to fall asleep. Nope, it kept my interest. Well, my my father uh, when I went to visit, he said, "Yeah, I watched this show, Sisu." Oh yeah, you like it? Yeah, I really liked it. And then the the next few things that he said made me think that oh he really wants to watch it again. Yeah. So we watched it and he really liked it again and he told his wife that he would watch it again. <laughs> so. Now, he does live in the country with nobody around for miles. Yeah, yeah. So, he is Sisu. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, give it a shot if you get a chance to see it. it I don't know if it's in theaters anywhere right now. Um, I'm not sure what service he uh, watched it on. Yeah, that was Prime or something like that. But he has all these different channels to watch it. Yeah. But, so. I think he has satellite or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, there you go. Sisu, the Finnish... Rambo. This is not about who is the strongest. This is about not giving up. We have a word for that in Finland. 